In America, we have an illness, an incredible illness brewing, that people in the American government, people in the police department, police in the people in the military, and people across our land think they have the right to steal from people who are homeless. Can you imagine what God is thinking? That he's given you this pandemic to get you thinking. But all you're thinking about is how to harm someone's life. All you're thinking about is how to gain more inheritance. All you're thinking about is how to gain more land. All you're thinking about is how to gain more financially off someone else's work. And you're thinking that God is going to bless you the rest of your life. My guess is that God is going to give you COVID. And my guess is that God might give you cancer. And my guess is that God is going to humble you, whether it's now or a little later in your life. But in life, we have moments of time to speak the truth of our single life and our single soul. But there are people across America who believe that they have the right to speak the truth to you about their version of God. Well, their version of God may not be your version of God, and the truth is that the First Amendment allows us the right to assemble and the right to pursue religion any way we choose. I really struggle with the fact that America has allowed people in our nation to visit or to become students that we really don't have a need to be here. Because we have our own children and our own citizens to educate and train here. We don't need any more foreign workers coming in from Mexico is reasonably true. We most certainly don't need any foreign workers coming in from the Middle East is absolutely true. Because the concept of truth in those countries is not the same as the concept of truth to me and you. There's a great comedian named Andy Anders who's written many books now and gone on to great fame after really hard work, after losing his parents at age 17. And I won't tell you the whole story and I hope you read him. But what he does do when he's in front of people like me and you in a national convention is talk about what is true versus what is truth. So what is true for you may not be true for me. But what is your truth is for your right to profess. And I'm not saying this is a version, this is my interpretation. But what I can say to you is that your truth belongs to you, my truth belongs to me, and what you feel is true about you and your world is fine for you, but what I know is true for me and my soul is absolutely true for me. But if you personally think that you have the right of violence to abuse people emotionally, psychologically, spiritually, intellectually, or sexually, or physically, you've got a problem in your truth. Because the people who do this completely immorally and totally illegally do not deserve to get away with it. Because if they do, America will lose.